extent to which, looking back at Mbeki, um, he should be blamed for his disconnect, as opposed to whether it was structural and situational around him. I don't have an answer to that, but, but uh, there, there's a way that, that what's happened to Obama has, has triggered some sort of nostalgia about Mbeki within me. And simultaneously, I've, I've experienced, as I'm sure um, many of you have, at various times, blind rage at Mbeki. And I experienced this in the last couple of weeks um, when Zuma did his cabinet reshuffle. I got furious with Tabo Mbeki. Um, and I got furious not just with Tabo Mbeki, not just because of the cabinet reshuffle, you can't blame Tabo Mbeki for firing Barbara Hogan. If he'd have had his way, she wouldn't have been there in the first place. But I got furious at the commentary around Zuma's reshuffle. And the way that everybody, from, from the, the, the most critical commentators to the DA, Apple Trollope of the DA, was, was praising and complimenting Zuma for having done this reshuffle. It was masterful politically. He was, um, he was, he was affecting uh, service delivery. It was democracy in action. And I blamed Mbeki for this, because I thought this is a reaction to the fact that Mbeki never reshuffled. And because Mbeki never reshuffled, when Zuma sort of pushes the chairs around on the Titanic um, and keeps a lot of really bum people in and chucks two people out who actually were taking a stand against corruption um, in two departments where, where the possibility for graft is the, um, is the strongest, public works and public enterprises, we applaud and celebrate it. Um, and I suppose I was giving these, I'm giving these examples because I'm aware of how, I'm aware of the, 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 the shadow that Mbeki still casts over us and the way, um, the way we can individually and collectively be very angry with him but also nostalgic for him. And the nostalgia, the nostalgia has come out quite strongly recently. It's, it's uh, the word that came and flipped into my brain when I was swimming today, is that it's a it's sort of nostalgia. It's a nostalgia for somebody who was in charge. Which is perhaps why um, one of the reasons why why Zuma was applauded for reshuffling the cabinet. Thank God there's somebody in charge there again. You know, we, we, we think back to um, to the days of empire when there was somebody in control, even if we didn't like the control. So on the one hand, there's this nostalgia, and on the other hand, there's rage and anger. And it's not that I don't believe that there are very real reasons to be angry. And I'm sure Mark is going to talk about those reasons. I think we'll all agree that there's, there's a lot to be very angry with Tabo Mbeki about. Um, but there's also a way that he has, I think, been scapegoated, been made to carry, and I write about this in, in, in my essay in this book, been made to carry a lot of pain and difficulty of transition, in, in which we were all implicated and, and for which all of us, certainly all of us who voted for the ANC, which I did twice, are, um, are culpable. And, um, and Daryl has this, 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 this expression, in, in this phrase in, in his introduction where he speaks about how um, the scapegoating of Mbeki, uh, I think takes an argument that I made further, talks about how the scapegoating of Mbeki allows us to put all the bad stuff in us, this, this, these weren't your exact words though, in a, in a sack on, the back, on his back, and he can sort of shuffle off, take them to Savannah somewhere, and uh, leave us here to start a sort of brave new beginning. Without all that stuff, all that racism, all that AIDS denialism, all that dark, difficult stuff. And I think what we've seen in the last uh, few weeks and months, from the um, attempts to control the media that Daryl spoke about, through to what I'm sure Mark will talk about, this. Um, extraordinary reaction to Zelazina Babi's presence at a meeting of civil society. I think what's obvious is that we are in the same place that we were in when Tabo Mbeki was president. And I think that the sooner we come to terms with that, um, the good and the bad of that, and I do believe there's a lot of good to it, the easier it's going to be to mature into the democracy that our constitution promises us.